I'll go into the specific reasons why this 5 cent Jefferson nickel sold for $750 in this video, along with what you should do if you come across one. Let's begin viewing this video now. Exhibit 67 is a 1971 Jefferson nickel that has been graded by the NGC. The first thing you'll notice about this coin is its tone, which is completely of this color. Now a casual observer of this coin might conclude that it is damaged, rusted, or discolored. Since that's how it seems, I swear to you that I understand. However, tone is what is meant to be understood as this. The coin's natural oxidation process, which occurs when metals oxidize in air, gives them this appearance. It actually boils down to the collector's willingness to value the coins and their visual appeal, even though some coin collectors are willing to pay extra for toned coins. Some of the tones on the coins look wonderful, even though I don't believe this coin looks that terrific. This coin offers evidence of the current business strike as well as proof coins. The coins that are released typically look completely different. The primary point of differentiation will be the incredibly brilliant and sparkling background or field of the coins. In this instance, it will resemble a sheen mirror. Furthermore, this specific proof coin lacks the South Mint mark that is usually found on coins of that kind because it was produced at the San Francisco Mint. For whatever reason, this coin was missing the South Mint mark that it was supposed to have. The issue is that the Philadelphia Mint, which also created this denomination, frequently produces coins without a mint mark. It is important to note that if your proof coin resembles this money, which made $750, it would be worthwhile to grade it and sell it for a high price. We've reached the end of the video. Please remember to hit the bell and subscribe to my channel, Viteran Coins, as these things help me continue to provide you with high quality content. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.